Hello, 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 everybody here is Talk Togo Well, again talking about different topics and science. You remember guys that we create and design this podcast to let everybody know about Harvard University and the magazine of Harvard Medical School. You can also visit our official website, which is magazine.hms.harvard.edu. You will be able to browse thousands of thousands of articles by issue or by topic. You will be asking Talk Togo Well, which topics do we have? Research, community, education, care delivery, hours, and achievement. All right, the article to review today is a window on will. An innovation to a mass spectrometer allows analysis of tissue pathology in OR. When Natalie Augard began her postdoctoral work in neurosurgery at McGill University, she knew she wanted to one day help cancer patients. When she dove into her second postdoctoral fellowship in neurosurgery, however, she didn't expect she would develop an equal compassion for cancer surgeons. From Cambridge, Massachusetts, at Harvard University Medical School, I want to remind everybody who's listening to Dr. Wild that we do mostly day this beautiful review from the magazine. I continue to try to get doing this beautiful review. I have so much respect for my colleagues who have to stand there in the OR and decide whether this tissue in a patient brain in tumor or non-tumor when it all looks the same, and they don't have that down it, says Natalie Ogard, who did her postdoctoral work in Harvard Medical School and Brigham and Women's Hospital and is now an Harvard Medical School Associate Professor of Neurosurgery and Radiology, founding director of the Surgical Molecular Imaging Laboratory at Brigham and Women's Hospital and a member of the Cancer Biology Program in the Dan Farber Harvard Cancer Center. Currently, surgeons can send a tumor section to the pathology laboratory mid-operation for the analysis, but that takes time, delivers limited in size and it's hard to do more than once during a surgery. Moved by the difficulty or their decision making, Agar asked, what tools can I offer to help? found answer in mass spectrometry, a technology that measures the masses of the components of a sample. She modified a commercial spectrometer so it could analyze tissue that hadn't undergone a lengthy preparation process, then worked with a multidisciplinary team to create an experimental surgical protocol. The protocol goes like this. A willing surgeon prepares and removes a brain tumor. Agar put the instrument on a car and wheels into the operation site. A tissue is car of bit by bit agar fit samples into the spectrometer. In seconds, it spit out the spectrograph that indicate the quantity of hundreds of different molecules with the tissue. Agar Holmes is one of the ones of interest, using her ever won catalog of molecular masses of flat tumor markers such as hormones and insane metabolites. The real help the surgeon identify tumor type stage and aggressiveness, and based on the proportion of abnormal tissue, how close the exhibition is to the tumor border. Best of all, Agar team set up a workflow such that when a surgeon slides the patient into an intraoperative MRI machine, the spectrometry results get mapped on top, showing tissue composition where each example was taken. If, for example, a surgeon faces the dilemma of a glioma encroaching on the language region of the patient brain, the information provided by the spectrometer could help inform decision on additional tissue removal, decision that could influence the odds of revival recurrence on quality of of life. Although Agar is cautioned by natural commitment of exceptionally validation each technique before saying it will work, oncologists are taking notice. The work earned her an NIH Director New Innovator Award in 2010. With co-principal investigator Gary Leiden, professor of neurobiology at Harvard Medical School, Agar received one of the inaugural Harvard Medical School Dean's Innovation Award in summer 2018 for further the research. Researchers. Yet she didn't technically invent something so much as recognize a potential of existing tool. The 
más espectrómetro already existed. August 6, the ionization techniques to avoid sample preparation already existed. So did the neuro navigation systems and some of the software in the labs. We just try to take the pieces that are out there and pull them together to answer our own questions. Agar continues to iterate using more visually oriented types of mass spectrometry and advanced software. One technique analyzes samples every 5 to 100 microns creates a spectrograph of each section and then transliterate each spectrograph into a pixel. Taking together the pixel show the molecules in each section of the tissue sample and resultant imaging reveals never before seen variation without tumors. In addition to adding a diagnosis, prognosis, treatment, and drug development, these technologies let Agar and colleagues identify new biomarkers and prove interactions between cancer drugs and the blood barrier. Until now, a researcher might bring up a biopsy, detect a certain amount of drug, and extrapolate that the drug has been eventually distributed through the tumor using Agar's techniques that researchers can visualize the distribution of drug metabolism and now whether the chemotherapies remain trapped in the bloodstream or penetrate only a short distance into a tumor, both of preclinical models and specimens from clinical trials. Collaborators eager to gain deeper biological insight using our imaging innovation include Chen Wagat, professor of neurobiology at Harvard Medical School, who proved the neurovascular interaction that underlies the brain and blood retinal barrier and the goal of manipulating these barriers to allow treatments to reach their targets. And Marcia Hagi, the Harvard Medical School professor of cell biology, Agar and Aggies are currently collaborating on two papers describing the use of a spatial resolution in the study of brain tumors and muscle metabolisms. Agar is now also exploring mass spectrometry application for breast and prostate cancer and seeking to bring higher power spectrometer to campus to more finally distinct molecules with similar masses, being able to provide oncologists with images that show this is where the drugs and this is where the tumors is, this is where the necrosis is, this is where the blood vessels are, information they haven't been able to access before. It's very gratifying, she said. This article has been so jolly, but it's a really, really beautiful article with a smart acknowledge. Remember, guys, that you can also download it from our official website at the magazine of Harvard Medical School. Remember, the title is A Window on Wheels, and this article has been posted at the magazine by Andrew Bashin. He is a science writer at Harvard Medical School Office of Communications and External Relations. Have a beautiful day and See you next time. Bye-bye.